What is going on guys? Thank you for joining me here today on this Friday, August 10th, 2023 for another Metallic episode of Music of Destruction coming to you from the MOD Crypt as always bringing you the best in metal related content here on YouTube. Check out Mordant Red and Ken's Death Metal Crypt. Those are some other cool metal YouTubers as well. If you missed anything in the past couple weeks or week, click the I, bring down the menu. Otherwise, check the homepage. I'd really appreciate it. Remember to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on that bell for all notifications so you don't miss a damn thing. Raw fucking intolerance. MOD bringing you only the most elite underground metal. Welcome to Metal Album Warfare Fridays here on the channel and we got an awesome battle for you guys tonight with another OSDM uh, elite battle between we have in one corner malevolent creation the Ten Commandments going up against grave into The grave two fucking classic old-school death metal albums from two of the pioneers of death metal of course within the second wave while well, malevolent creation The Ten Commandments was released in 1991 on RC records into the grave released in 1991 on Century Media Records all right, so I'm sure you know who these bands are, okay? And, of course, with two similar bands like this, these guys are legends. Such passion and intensity, raw aggression, and a true purpose for creating it. That's what the 90s was full of it. All right, let's get into it. First up, we have from Malevolent Creation, we have Memorial Arrangements versus Deformed from Grave. And I gotta tell you, man, what a great way to open these two albums. Very classic, fucking sounding disgusting putrid death metal with nothing but crushing aggression passion and absolute visceral violence these are got some amazing riffs drumming guitar bass vocals all that cool shit and i really enjoy these two opening tracks i think they're fucking killer and uh malevolent creation and grave i know they're from different parts of the world obviously with malevolent creation being from the u.s and grave being from sweden but when it comes to death metal, I think these two bands have a very, very strong similarity in certain ways. That New York sound is here for Malevolent Creation and the Swedish sound here for Grave. But again, a very similar structure, but also very powerful, amazing tracks uh, with a lot of passion. Just awesome visceral shit, both getting a point. Next, we have Premature Burial from the Ten Commandments versus In Love from Into the Grave. And again, two very sick, putrid death metal tracks full of incredible levels of aggression and crushing riffs very crushing putrid vocals great drum per, uh, drum performances here but also the production on these albums is quite raw which i love it's got like a really rotting disgusting morbid sound with a lot of that dirty muddiness that i love about old school death metal and a lot of new bands are doing that too which i think is fucking great uh these two tracks are amazing they're both getting a point next remnants of premature decay from Malevolent Creation versus For Your God from Grave. And Remnants of Premature Decay is an amazing track, really, really passionate, and pushes the envelope in a lot of ways with what Malevolent Creation we're going for with this record. For Your God from Grave is a good track as well. However, Remnants of Premature Decay from Malevolent Creation has got the slight edge here. Not that I don't love For Your God from Grave, but I do think that. Uh, this track from Malevolent Creation, Remnants of Premature Decay, is fucking amazing. It's getting the points. We have a 3-2 lead for Malevolent Creation. Next up, one of Malevolent Creation's most iconic tracks from this record. Multiple stab wounds, one that's demanded at concerts all the time, versus Obscure Infinity from Into the Grave. And incredible, both powerful, visceral, brutal tracks full of incredible speed, but also lots of groove-laden hooks on these two tracks that really elevate the diversity and the variety here but st still keeps a very solid death metal foundation uh just absolute fucking sick tracks from both these bands lots of fucking sick riffs and drum work and bass and vocals very great lyrics from both these bands uh so they're both getting the point next impaled existence from the ten commandments versus hating life from grave absolutely killer fucking stuff here again i mean when you look at how incredible the early waves of death metal were you could certainly tell that these bands weren't trying to copy each other this is very unique stuff from both of these bands and they definitely sound different but again have that similar old school death metal structure and feel 
and I think both these tracks are equally sonically intense and aggressive and raw and just fucking crushing, so they're both getting the point as well. Next, Thou Shall Kill from the Ten Commandments versus Into the Grave, obviously, from Into the Grave. Uh, amazing shit, man. This title track from Into the Grave is so fucking brutal and just groove-laden and malevolent, or sorry, Graves always had this kind of groove to their death metal, but so has Malevolent Creation. Thou Shall Kill is an amazing track here from the Ten Commandments as well, so both can't take a point away. They're both getting one. Next, Sacrificial Annihilation from the Ten Commandments versus Extremely Rotten Flesh from Into the Grave. Wow. Deep cuts, but very, very profound. Very uh, powerful and just driven and fucking raw and aggressive and gross, violent, fucking just amazing, crushing, tunneling death metal from both of these awesome fucking albums and two tracks full of amazing compositional framework and songwriting and riffs and fucking vocals and bass and drums awesome shit love them both both getting the point next decadence within from malevolent creation versus haunted from grave two fucking sick tracks okay absolutely essential listening the deeper the albums go they don't lose any steam going the way through uh they're just both fucking awesome i love how these albums both have a similar feel, but these tracks definitely stand on their own as well. So do these two albums, but just incredible old school death metal here. If you know it, they, it's got some amazing leads on these albums, guitar wise and shit like that. Just fucking cr awesome, awesome shit. Both getting the point. Next, Injected Suffrage from the Ten Commandments versus Day of Mourning from Into the Grave. What can I say, man? Amazing fucking tracks, okay? The the guitar work on these albums is just fucking phenomenal. Lots of memorable riffs shining through on every track from both bands. Uh, lots of groove and a lot of hooks that keep you into the music. Vocally, lots of rage on these two records. Lots of gross, putrid, ghoulish vocals. And a very raw production as well. Really love these two tracks, both getting the point. Next, the title track from... The Ten Commandments with Malevolent Creation versus Inhuman from Into the Grave. Wow, what a way to close out these two records. Amazing shit from both bands. And definitely a testament to how great the 90s death metal scene really was. Especially when it comes to the New York sound. I really enjoy that New York sound versus the Florida sound. But the Swedish sound has its own unique style as well. And own unique production and shit like that. And just fucking what a great way to close out. These two goddamn masterpieces, they're both fucking amazing. Absolutely incredible records. Alright, we're going to add up the scores now. The Ten Commandments coming in with ten points. Into the Grave comes in with nine points. So guys, Leveling Creation takes the win by just one point. I mean, these guys are so fucking legendary and just amazing. These two albums are sick, visceral, brutal, disgusting, and real. Hail the fucking underground and the old school. Alright, that's going to do it for another Metal Album Warfare's in the books here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed tonight's premiere. If you're new, subscribe, turn on the bell for a notification so you don't miss anything. Janelle is working on new merchandise for my Bonfire store. It's going to be really cool with 3D art generation and all that cool shit. Thank you, Janelle, for all your hard work on the channel. I really do appreciate you and love you. Join the channel, become an MOD Elite VIP. Perks, $249 for your first month, $499 thereafter. You get access to exclusive content review requests within reason, band interviews and promotions. I just uploaded my good buddy Justin's band, Cadaver Right, Morning with Dead Flowers, the demo from 2023. Those guys are all channel members. That's what you get for joining the channel as well as uh, collaborations if you have a metal YouTube channel and members only live streams as well for becoming an MOD Elite VIP. Have an awesome night, guys. We'll see you for the Crypt Underground Metal Radio Show Saturday night at 6 p.m. Members only. Chat and request hails.